Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are going to be watching and reacting to the definitive proof of Jesus' deity. Definitive proof that Jesus is God. Before we get started, make sure you guys definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That being said, let's dive straight into this video. Three words, Jesus is God. Period. This is Wretched Radio. Witness to a whole lot of atheists these days, and you are bound to hear the accusation, Jesus isn't God because he never said he is God. And our response is, you are so right, my atheist friend, because only an imposter would make that claim that way. Instead, Jesus spoke of being divine in divine ways which is a demonstration he is divine. You and I would be the ones to go, I'm God. If we're trying to fool people, Jesus didn't say that because as God in flesh, he was able to demonstrate it with his actions and with his words. In Exodus 3 and verse 14, God told Moses his name was Yahweh, translated, I am. This name was esteemed so high, so holy, that, the, that, that, that Jewish people wouldn't say it. It's called the Tetragrammaton, Yahweh, Jehovah. It's, it's four letters, remember? There was, there was pointing that was used for the vowels. These are just the four consonants. We don't know what the vowels are for, for God's holy name because they didn't want to use it to misspeak it. We added the letters later, I believe it was from Adonai later, to make it Jehovah. It appears 6,000 times in the Bible. And so they would use alternative names like Adonai, or they would simply call Yahweh the name, Hashem. That's, that's how they esteemed this name. Jesus, a rabbi, used that name for himself multiple times in the gospel of john john 8 58 an audience of jewish theologians so shocking was his word to them that i am they picked up stones to kill him why because he had applied the name to himself yeah but but he didn't say that i'm god right he didn't he said it more profoundly in a way that should cause you to go whoa that isn't something that i would concoct that isn't something that i would do and don't forget he's tying himself back to the old testament he's tying himself back to the jewish religion he's tying himself all the way back to abraham in this instance before abraham was i am he's connecting himself to something that's more credible than just standing up and saying i am god how else did Jesus claim to be God? Well, how's about in John 17, 1 through 2, when he prayed to the Father, glorify your Son that the Son may glorify you, even as you gave him authority over all flesh, that to whom all you have given him, he may give eternal life. That is, that is an absolute proclamation that he is divine. It is, an, it, it is a statement that claims I, Jesus, oversee the operation of divine providence. That's a little bit more profound than just saying, I am God. John 5, through 23, Jesus said, For even the Father, not even the Father judges anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all will honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him, that is an explicit claim of deity. And so to the Jehovah's Witness or to, is it the Way International, I believe? This, is, this verse should help them understand the Trinitarian doctrine that they reject and deny. Jesus was claiming that he is divine by equating himself to God the Father. How much more explicit could it be? How much more profound could it be? This is why the Jewish people wanted to kill him. Jesus placed himself on the highest possible level when he made himself the object of our faith. What did he say in John 14, 1? Don't let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Whoa. 
That is a profound statement of divinity. That would be blasphemy for any mere creature to ask people to put their faith in him like they put their faith in God, unless, of course, you actually are God. Jesus himself, Matthew 18, 20, said, no, it's 28, 20. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. What is that? That, that That's a statement of what? Omnipresence. Who else can make that claim but God himself? How's about when God the Father spoke to the Son, your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of, of uprightness is the scepter of your kingdom. Psalm 45, 6, talking about the Messiah. Consider this, if you will. Let's just say you were reading a history book, and they didn't identify a man named Henry as the king, or they never had a quote from Henry saying, I am the king. But instead, all you had were quotes about people calling him kingly names, royal names. Wouldn't you conclude, um, hey, that must mean that he's actually the king. If everybody is ascribing to him titles that only belong to the king of England, I think it's safe to say, especially because he never corrected them, that he is the king of England. That's actually a good point, and I never saw it in that sense. That's actually a very, very, very good analogy. Imagine any history book, this person was king, but he never claimed to be king or said the words, I am king, but everyone else adored him gave him priestly royal names and treated him as such and this person never corrected them it would be so foolish to conclude then that oh this person was never royalty or this person was never king even though everyone else acknowledged that he was that would be so foolish yet we do the exact same thing to jesus christ or rather the people that claim that he is not god to jesus christ i mean come on who else would he be? He can't be merely mortal. He cannot be merely human because he rose from the dead. He proclaimed divinity and he ascribed to himself divine names which can only be attributed to God himself. Otherwise, it would be considered blasphemy. He is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. He is the resurrection. He is who he is, or rather he is that he is. Before Abraham was, I am, John eight fifty eight, And he is the kingdom of God. And we should fill ourselves with Jesus Christ himself. Put your faith in me as you do God. Let's keep on with the video. And that is exactly what we see in the Bible. Attributes of God ascribed to Jesus Christ. Names for God ascribed to Jesus Christ. And he never said, no, not me. I'm not me. In fact, he made the claims himself. He made claims that he is omnipresent. He made claims and demonstrated he is omnipotent. That he is divine. That he knows everything what more did he need to do and that's gonna wrap it up for this video ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for staying up until this point at the end of the video before anybody does go ahead because i can already smell it i can already smell this comment oh he didn't correct anybody well he corrected that young bachelor who jesus then says why do you call me good only god is good isn't he then correcting this young bachelor you have to understand context. You have to understand the reason as to why Jesus asked this young bachelor, this young rich man, why do you call me good? Only God is good. Because if you look at the conversation and the context of the conversation, even after everything, what do I have to do in order to inherit the kingdom of God? What else do I need? Jesus then says, follow me. And he walked away despaired and in distraught. So Jesus already knew that this person 
isn't calling him good teacher because he genuinely believed that he is a good teacher because even at the end of the conversation, he walked off and he didn't want to follow Christ. So then why do you call me good if you're not even going to follow me? That is the exact reason as to why Jesus Christ asked him, why do you call me good? It's the same way how saying, if you were to ask me for advice and then you called me, you're such a good person, or rather, you're so knowledgeable, I would then ask you, why do you call me knowledgeable? You're not even going to follow me. Why do you call me these names? Why do you ascribe to me these attributes if you're not even going to follow what it is that I'm going to tell you? It's the exact same reason as to why Jesus asked this person why do you call me good? Hopefully that answered a lot of you guys' confusion and questions. If you still have questions or confusion, go ahead and comment down below. And hopefully in a further video or in a future video rather, I will be able to answer that with a reaction video or a sit down video. That being said, it's been Ronald Aaron. Make sure you guys definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, that like button. And if you are going to comment, make sure to keep it cordial, respectful, and peaceful in the comment section down below. That being said, it has been, once again, Ronald Aaron. Ingatan out, samahan nawa kayo ng Panginoon. Ask your Filipino friend what that means. <laughs>